We've been talking a lot lately, including on our BT Currents Employment blog, about all of the state and local level employment law activity on a number, number of subjects. How does an employer who does business in more than one place, which most employers do, even all in the same state but in different municipalities, how do you write policies to comply with the various requirements? Uh, the answer is going to vary employer by employer, even policy by policy, depending on what jurisdictions you're in and what laws you're subject to, the nature of your workforce, and in part just taste, personal taste as, as an employer, how you like to do things. But there are three basic approaches uh, that you can use, and they're not mutually exclusive. Number one, sometimes you can write a policy that will work for the whole company uh, in all the different jurisdictions. You may even just pick whatever is the most restrictive law to which you are subject and follow that. Number two, uh, you may take that same policy, just add something like except uh, where local or state law would change these requirements or except as provided by state or local law. It gives you a, a catch-all to deal with particular situations as they arise. Uh, last, you can have a a different document for different locations. Uh, that could be actually a different policy, or you could have your core handbook of policies that applies to everybody, and then maybe a supplement for each particular city or each particular state as needed. Uh, we do think this trend of state and local activity is going to only continue. Uh, employers need to be aware of what's going on in the different jurisdictions where they have employees and uh, need to work with counsel to address these policy issues in the way that works best for you.